Hello everyone, my name is Hugh Sung. I'm obviously a pianist. <laughs> I'm the popular piano teacher at an online school called Artist Works, and it's been my great privilege to work with students from all around the world. And anyway, I'm so glad that you guys could all join us for this wonderful online music festival. So I thought I'd play a couple of short selections just to kind of uh, bring some music into your home, and maybe we'll just talk a little bit about what I do, uh, both my day job and, uh, and of course, teaching at Artist Works. Um, by the way, we're kind of in a unique location here. I thought it'd be kind of neat to, to shoot this at my day job. I'm the vice president of one of the oldest piano stores in America, Cunningham Piano. It's been around since 1891 in the Philadelphia area. And uh, we just happen to be <laughs> the Yamaha dealer of the year. So you can see I'm sitting in front of this magnificent nine-foot concert grand Yamaha that I wanted to show off for, uh, for this festival and to share this amazing instrument with you guys. So nine-foot concert grand, this is the CF3S. This used to be Yamaha's flagship uh, concert grand piano before they came out with their newer model, the CFX. But hey, this is still one heck of a piano. So... Anyway, I thought I'd uh, maybe start off with a short little waltz by, by Chopin, a waltz in C-sharp minor, and it kind of goes like this.
Hope you enjoy that a little bit. Uh, so, you know, I've been working with online piano lessons for quite a long time. Even before I joined ArtistWorks, I was experimenting with teaching online lessons. And in fact, you can find a, a series that I taught many years ago called Claire de Lune from Scratch. Claire de Lune is uh, one of the world's most popular pieces. And I thought it would be neat if I could show anybody how to play this incredible piece of music. People who have never played the piano before, people who've always dreamed of playing, but maybe thought it was too hard. And I just wanted to show that if you can break, you can, if you break things down to their, their simplest components and find a way to make it fun and engaging, and frankly, if you have the patience just to go a little bit at a time, anybody, and really, literally anybody can learn to play beautiful music on the piano. In fact, I've had several hundred thousand people go through uh, the series on YouTube, and I've gotten so many wonderful emails over the years from folks who've just said, you know, thank you so much for giving me the, the making my dreams come true to be able to play this, you know, incredible piece of music. This is a favorite for a lot of people. You hear it in the movies all the time. <laughs> I think there was a, a Godzilla movie with this theme on it recently. I just, well, <laughs> I won't play a Godzilla version, but I thought maybe I'd play this for you. Again, this is um, Claire de Lune or uh, The Light of the Moon by French composer Claude Debussy. And, um, and again, look it up on YouTube. It's called Claire de Lune from scratch. And if you want to learn to play this piece, you can get a taste of how I teach my lessons online. So here's how this piece goes.
Hope you enjoyed that. You know what's really interesting uh, is um, a nine-foot concert grand. This is the kind of piano you'd, you'd find on a concert stage uh, or in front of an orchestra. It's a huge piano. It's one of the largest sizes pianos that you're going to come across. What's counterintuitive is the fact that the larger the piano, the easier it is actually to play softly, more delicately, because I have literally more leverage. The longer the leverage I have, these are, much, these are the longest key sticks. Each of the keys work like seesaws, and when I have extra leverage, it actually is easier for me to play more gently. But of course, it's also easy for me to play really, really loud. <laughs> That's why you get such a huge dynamic range from a, a concert grand like this. It's so much fun to play. I don't know if you heard the hissing in the background. So I, right now, <clears throat> I'm in Cunningham Piano's uh, restoration factory. We have, uh, we, have our, we have stores, but we also have this building here where we take old pianos and make them look and sound brand new. We have artisans and technicians that uh, have perfected the art of taking old pianos, rebuilding most of the action parts inside and, and making the finish on the outside absolutely gorgeous. And they do amazing work. And this is where all the magic happens. It's kind of amazing that in this day and age, especially you know where I am right now, that we still have artisan and craftspeople working on pianos and, uh, and making them beautiful and available for, for folks to bring home. So uh, even if you have a piano that's 100 years old and you, you want to bring it back to life, we, our guys can do. They do amazing work, and uh, our rebuilds are being sent all over the world and stuff. So anyway, back to uh, uh, my Artist Works school, the Artist Works Online Popular Piano School. One of the things that I try to emphasize is really having fun, and I think the number one, well, the, the, I think the number one key to the success of the school that, that I've been fortunate to be a part of is the fact that I emphasize that we, my students play what they love. I, I don't go through you know, tedious exercises or boring esoteric things. I really focus on what do you want to play. It doesn't matter how hard you think it is. If you really love the piece I mean, I, and you're willing to work with me, I'm willing to break it down so that you can play it. And it's amazing what folks can accomplish when they really play what they love. And so my school, even though I'm playing all classical stuff, my school is a real mix of popular styles, of folk songs, jazz, classics, light classics, heavy classics, um, you know, even some worship tunes, um, a little bit of rock and roll, pop, you know, really kind of an eclectic mix. And I have a curriculum of songs that I've arranged of all different styles. But you know, what's also fun is that my students also just say, "Hey, can I learn X, Y, Z?" And they, we can work on anything they want to work on. You know, and it's it's been so rewarding to see so many people discover that yes, you can learn to play the piano at any age. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. Um, playing the piano, you know, it's, it's like the best brain exercise because each hand stimulates the opposite brain hemisphere. So if you want a good full brain therapy, I, I could talk about the benefits of playing the piano all day long, as you can tell. But anyway, I guess this is a concert, a little show. I better get back to playing. I want to play one more little work. Um, this is a, maybe a piece that can show off how loud this piano can get. A uh, little more Chopin. Okay, let's play, let's kind of end off my little program with the Chopin Fantasy Impromptu. This is one of my favorite pieces and uh, it's also really, really hard, so <laughs> let's see if I can get through it. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope I didn't blow out the microphones. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope you enjoyed those, those short selections, and I hope you enjoyed the, just the incredible sound of this nine-foot Yamaha CF3S Concert Grand. Just, just a great piano, and um, I'm so, so glad I could share a little bit of magic from uh, Cunningham Piano and, of course, from Artistworks. It's such a privilege going, being with, I've been with them since 2014. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how time flies. And I've had some students that have been with me since the beginning. And uh, it's just been such a, such a joy working with students of all ages from all countries all around the world. And, um, and it's a very special way for me to be able to share my love of music and hopefully to inspire other people to, uh, to explore playing the, the best instrument in the world, in my humble opinion. Anyway, thanks so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, and again, I hope you get to enjoy the rest of this amazing online music festival. What a privilege to be a part of this. Thanks again. Once again, my name is Hugh Sung. And uh, yeah, I, again, thanks for watching. <laughs>